In this example, we will be showing how to add a file to an existing zip file using only the tools that come with Windows 7. We have here first an existing file and then a new file that we want to add. The easiest way to add this file is simply to click and to drag the file. You will notice that when you click to drag the new file over the existing zip file, you see a little plus copy icon just below the new file to add. This is letting you know that when you click and drag it, you have added a file to the zip file and your existing file still stays there. If we double click on the existing file, you notice you see a new file to add is listed there as well as the existing file or files in folder or folders that were in the zip file to begin with. If you click on the new file and hold the shift key, you'll notice that an arrow and the word move now appear on a little icon below the file that you're dragging. This will attempt to move the file which will delete your original file and place it into the zip file. Because we already have the new file in our zip file from just a second ago, if I go to move it, I will get this little pop-up message that asks me if I want to copy and replace it or if I don't want to copy the file because there already is a file with that name inside my zip file. Remember that a Windows compressed folder is nothing but a zip file. And you can see that it's a compressed folder or a zip file because it looks like it's a folder icon with a little zipper on it. That is the icon that Microsoft is using. Remember this technology has existed in several versions of Windows. Starting with Windows XP, Vista, 7, and now you can safely assume in Windows 8.